Hi, Taurus. Welcome to your May. How they truly feel. Next move and love messages. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So this is about the person. Um, this could be anybody, any situation. So it could be someone you're crushing on, you're crushing on each other, you're flirting, someone you're dating, uh, some sort of mutual connection, maybe someone you're in no contact with, I don't know, depending on your situation. So this is some a reading about someone that you're wondering, okay, how are they really truly feeling about me and our connection or whatever's going on, what their next moves might be. And then what they want to say to you, we got some uh, messages of love oracle cards here. We'll pull some of those at the end. All right, Taurus, so let's get into it here. Taurus, Sun, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. You definitely can flip, switch, reverse the energies anytime you feel the need to. Cross watchers as well. Happy birthday, Taurus. Happy, happy birthday. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time now keep in mind if something um if, if you're not interested in somebody and how they're feeling i don't know why you're watching this but um i always say if you got to twist it to fit it it's not your reading or if something shows up you're not interested in it's probably not your reading either but that's what we have here hopefully it will be all right towards the birthday babies let's see what's going on so let's see how they're feeling about you whatever your situation may be we have Our Lady of the Abundant Garden, and we have 38, which is 11, and that is Life Path, Soul Path energy. So I'm feeling like this person feels a very abundant energy about you. Our Lady of Nourishment, 34, which is 7, a divinely guided spiritual energy. Sometimes sevens can be a little um, frustrating, and they can be a little challenging because we feel like there's nothing happening, or it seems kind of stagnant because universe is doing its thing we gotta kind of chill and it can be very frustrating so abundance and nourishment so a very healing uh kind of connection as well that they feel towards you our lady of soul birth five which is change i feel like this person feels like you've changed i don't want to say you changed them but something about the connection the energy between you it definitely has has changed them, I feel, for the better. So it's like they feel their soul has, be reborn, has been reborn in some way, shape, or form. Wow, definitely could be a soulmate connection here. Yellow is like the most positive color, and you have a lot of yellow here. You think of the sun, yellow, happiness, joy. Our Lady of the Rose Crown, 40, which is four. Stability Foundation. So, I mean, you think of the Rose Crown, you know, you think Jesus had to wear the crown, and it had thorns on it uh well it wasn't really a crown but you know whatever it was there and i had thorns on it and you know there's always hardship and there's always with beauty sometimes there's hardship so there could have been some things between you um that was a little bit difficult uh, no matter your situation here but they def definitely feel like the roses are worth the thorns maybe if that makes sense but definitely it's like a rebirthing kind of energy here very nourishing healing and a very abundant energy which this is all great energy so let's get into it here so i don't i'm kind of feeling like maybe um i don't i don't want to say it's been an on and off connection but maybe it's been like one of those connections where you know you like each other and nobody really gives in first and it's been like this long drawn out situation where well, we like each other and we flirt, we hang out, we have fun, but nobody really makes that move to say, you know, hey, I really, really like you. Let's see how this could work, but let's see. All right. But, you know, that may not resonate for everyone. It's depending on whatever your situation is. So, Taurus, everything you need to know is down below. Taurus, your playlist. And if you are new here, I do eight love readings a month. I almost said a week. Oh my gosh, that would be uh, <laughs> a little ridiculous. A month. You can check the list out below, see what else I do if you like what you see. And if you like general readings, check out my smaller channel that is below as well. Two journals per month per sign if that's something you're interested in. All right. Let's see how they're feeling. Oh, the fool. They just want to. I, f I definitely feel like they, they may act foolish around you. Not like in a stupid way, but just like a bumbling fool in love but it's like why isn't anybody you know it's kind of what i feel here the five of swords the four of cups oh my goodness the 
king of swords and the hermit oh my gosh so let's see we have virgo gemini aquarius you know i'm sorry if you hear the noise outside neighbors dogs and stuff um very warm today it's like 80 something so yes i have the windows open so we're gonna have to deal with it <laughs> no acs are in yet so anyway um we have the it's like the king of swords usually speaks their truth very blunt direct clear to the point but then we have that retraction energy of the hermit and the fool like that bumbling fool energy but then we have the five of swords which could be conflict maybe sabotage i feel like the four of cups feeling kind of disenchanted like um, I, I just don't know I, i'm feeling like this person just doesn't want to admit to themselves like how good you make them feel how good you are for their soul how healing the connection is for them how abundant it could be between you they could be dealing with some thorns um like they know you're a rose but they could be dealing with some thorns that uh they need to contend with but i kind of feel like here they just don't want to admit to themselves all this energy yet they act that way with you but then they kind of retract their energy and it's like they just don't want to admit it they just don't want to admit it but it all the energy is there and they present themselves as that way but yet they're not openly admitting it or even to themselves it's kind of what i feel here usually that king of swords though is usually like i said very um clear blunt direct to the point hmm. we do have the six of wands here so i mean this could be somebody that works um in law medical health care law enforcement, military, someone who's a big decision maker or a leader of some kind as well, but doesn't have to be. But someone very successful. They feel really, look at that, the Queen of Swords. So there's no doubt here that you two are a match. There's just no doubt. They just need to admit it to themselves. That's definitely what I'm getting here. And this could be a very successful uh, connection here. If they would just admit it to themselves and then admit it to you. Why did I put those there? Well, I guess they're going to stay there. <laughs> I, don't, I don't usually do that from the bottom of the deck, but I guess uh, they wanted to be there. All right, so we have uh, Libra showing up now. All right, so let's see what else we need to know about how they're feeling. So they definitely do feel all this great energy with you, around you, when they're with you, but they're not admitting admitting it to themselves so if they can't even admit it to themselves you know they gotta admit it to themselves first in order to admit it to you but let's see where this is going okay chariot well that is travel action movement that's my positive movement forward card traveling or distance let's see we have the seven of cups in reverse the nine of wands and the four of wands see they're struggling with this seven of cups they know for sure they know how great this connection is they know it's like their heart, mind, body, well, like their heart and soul knows, but their mind is kind of like denying it. Nine of Wands, like struggling with this Four of Wands. Now, I don't know if like commitment's been tossed around. I mean, Four of Wands can be about that. Commitment, marriage, whatever. Foundation, stability, moving in, whatever here. Maybe the thoughts of that going down that route in the future, maybe that scares them a little bit. But uh, they know for sure, because the Seven of Cups upright would be illusion, confusion. Geez, I just don't know. But Seven of Cups reverse is like, yeah, I totally know what I want. Chariot is positive movement forward. So maybe that could mean uh, some moves going to be taken here. So that is success, victory, balance. Could be, like I said, traveling or distance. So now we have Cancer showing up. The star, divinely guided energy, wish dream come true. And they know that. Things that are meant to be, balance, and there's that Ace of Pentacles. Silent new beginning that could go long term. In the Knight of Pentacles, so they're definitely uh, dragging their feet a little bit here with that Knight of Pentacles. But the King of Cups, they do have love here, but they're kind of reserved about it. So hiding it a little bit here. Hmm, the Hierophant. So this is a very spiritual connection. You know, this is a big change, leveling up. And then the Ten of Cups. They know exactly what kind of great connection this is. And it definitely is one to grow the soul, heart, mind, body, and soul, spirituality. This is a high-level connection here. And I think they know that. But So let's see um, what their next move may be. 
Let's see, for Taurus. What? Okay, these wanted to come out here. Well, there's the Ace of Pentacles and the Star again. <laughs> okay. All right. So, divine, they may be divinely guided here to make some sort of offer, that Ace of Pentacles. But let's see what their next move may be for Taurus. Okay. Oh my God, the Ten of Cups just poked out here. Wow. Okay. All right, so we got the Ten of Swords in reverse. So there's definitely an energy between you they cannot let go of for a Pentacles, but definitely they're holding their energy back. But they know this is something that you would want the Ace to get to the Ten. That could be a long-term, very stable, grounded, abundant kind of energy as well. And Pentacles are very practical. It's about, you know, the earthly realm. It's about the physical realm. Um financial realm it's all that physical financial um earthly realm kind of energy so they know that this is definitely that type of connection and it could go all the way to the ten of pentacles if they admit it to themselves and just let nature take its cause here is kind of what i feel so we have uh, aquarius showing up here so i kind of feel like here um You know, it's not really telling me, like, what their next move is going to be here. But, uh, you know, they're a little conflicted, maybe. I definitely got that high priestess. So, definitely keeping their secret, uh, their hit their feelings secrets. Three of Pentacles is growth expansion. They know it's a connection that is good for the heart, mind, body, and soul. <laughs> and it's only going to grow into something greater here as well. Ace of Wands. Exciting new beginning here. Ace of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. All right, so let's get a little more here. They know that if they make the move, admit it, you know, if are they admitting it to themselves? They very well could be. You know, they have been holding back, but they know that there's a lot more to this connection that needs to be explored that could lead to the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. It's divinely guided. Ace of Pentacles, Solomon will begin in that, can go long term right to the Ten of Pentacles, and they know that. They definitely know that. What kind of a great connection this is. So... And I kept I keep saying that, but I kind of feel like um, they know it. So I mean, they could be admitting admitting to themselves now. You know, this is seems so divinely guided here. But let's see. Um, please give me like how their next moves are going to go. What are their next moves here? Well, page of swords. You see that little I don't know what that is running here. Some sort of bird. I don't know what kind of bird that is. So coming to communicate, truth, clarity, two of cups for soulmate union. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the six of pentacles, well reciprocated, balance, reciprocation, two of wands, choosing the path, and the nine of pentacles. So, I mean, that is a single energy. Um, it's an abundant single energy here. I, I see the communication coming in, the soulmate connection, the reciprocation, the balance, balancing things out, choosing the path. But then we have the nine of pentacles, which that's a single energy, a single abundant energy. So I don't, if, if you're worried they're dating anyone else, no, they're still single. But I want to clarify that nine of pentacles, like why is that here? This, this two, we have a two twos here. That could be two weeks, two days. Communication comes in. You could get a text, phone call, message or something like that. They're wanting to talk to you about the truth here. Um, why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Eight of Cups. Yeah, they know, like, they know they kept, they were keeping their distance. They kept, definitely, I feel like two people that are single, but there definitely is a lot of time and energy spent together. Um, and I think they, they know that they keep, like, avoiding and, like, I don't want to say leaving. That's not really what I'm feeling here. Just they're avoiding it. Like they keep avoiding what's really going on here. Yeah, Decision time. Two of swords here. So they're making a big decision right now. Eight of swords. Yeah, they've been kind of stuck in their head. Like, what do I do here? But there's a return. Six of cups. Definitely here. And there's the strength. So overcoming and just realizing, you know, there's no way I can escape the strong connection. I don't think they really want to. It's just a matter of admitting it. And then 
coming together and admitting it to each other and then letting this be whatever it is here. But this is a strong connection here. You know, maybe past lives together, but there's been a lot of holding back. But it's also willpower, determination, being strong, courageous, and brave. Yeah, it's high priestess, a lot hasn't been said here, but is a soulmate connection here with temperance. Soulmate alchemy, bring soulmates together, exact right time. Patience, healing, balance. Peace, harmony, joy, love, and light, past life, healing. All right, and what is that behind there? The Ace of Swords, clarity from source here. Successful new beginning, truth, clarity, communication. All right, so let's see um, what else I want to say to you. And then we're also going to get some messages of love. And we'll pull some of those as well. So what else do they want to tell Taurus? What else do they want to tell Taurus? Oh my goodness, here. Knight of Wands in reverse. They know they've been slow walking this. It's kind of like... Knight of Wands is a pretty fast energy. It's like second to the Knight of Swords, but in reverse, it's a little slower, more like a Knight of Cups energy. Because I believe it goes the slowest to the fastest is Pentacles, Cups, Wands, Swords. So that's the second fastest Knight, but he's reversed. So he would kind of turn into the Knight of Cups, which is slower. So they know they've been kind of slow working this. They haven't had the like courage to just go after this, the world. So they want the new cycle to begin here. The Knight of Cups. There's the Knight of Cups again in reverse. <laughs> That's funny. And then the Two of Pentacles. So there's definitely, they're going to tell you, I know I've been back and forth, back and forth, and I've been kind of dragging my feet. You no know, Knight of Cups upright, courting, dating, getting to know. Knight of Wands, very action oriented, fiery, passionate, go getter, making it happen, getting things done. The world, I don't feel like a cycle is ending. I'm feeling like now they're going to tell you, yes, I want this cycle with you. I want it to begin. And I have a drag in my feet about passionately seeing where this can go and seeing where this love can go and I've been on the fence back and forth here as well let's get one more so we have here um did I forget to say the other signs we had Aquarius up here uh Sag Leo Chris Taurus Scorpio Scorpio let's get one more this one here Knight of Pentacles. Oh my God. So this, these are all action oriented cards, whether they're reversed or not. Um, and again, the Knight of Pentacles. It's been a long time coming here, but we have another two. So two is the kind of time markers for me when I get one, two, or three. So two weeks, two days. Uh, I don't, I'm not really feeling two days, uh, maybe two weeks. Um, and Taurus, that's you right here with the Knight of Pentacles. So you're like sitting there like, um, when are they going to like really fess up and confess how they're truly feeling? And maybe you've been kind of not saying anything because you don't want to scare them away. It's kind of like, okay, I'll let them make the first move. Tower, there's a big shift happening. Well, there you go. Big shift. And there's the Empress. So, and that is Libra Taurus energy. So you stayed in your Empress power here and you're waiting for the shift to happen because you know your power and you know the power of the connection. And then here comes the offer here, the communication, a date, let's talk, a drink, whatever the case may be. Nine of Cups, Happy Destroy, Wish Fulfillment, Knight of Stars. Then things will move forward very quickly. All the Knights are out here. So that's all about movement here. And then the Moon Reverse, which is about finally things being revealed here. No more fear. Exactly. All right. So let's see what the message of love. What are the messages of love have to say for Taurus? Again, Taurus, everything you need is below. Please... Um, I've been saying it every reading, support all your favorite readers. I always like, even if it doesn't resonate, because, you know, this platform really isn't supporting us or pushing us out. So, like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, whatever you care to do would help out greatly. I appreciate it, and all your favorite readers would appreciate it as well. So, let's see what else do they want to say to Taurus. What do they want to say to Taurus? True love. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Oh my gosh. Wow. All right. What else? Here and now. Your true love. That's twice now already part of your life. Wow. I'm getting, I'm hearing that Luther Vandross song here and now, so you may want to listen to the lyrics of that. Marriage. Uh, say what? This relationship is moving towards a sacred union. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, what now? So... 
they want to be in the here and now. They know what kind of connection this is. And they know someday could head towards marriage. They're starting to realize that now. Rejection. This rejection is actually divine protection. And I do feel like they're going to tell you, I'm sorry, I kept not rejecting. I'm not, I'm not feeling like a full-blown rejection. But within themselves, they kept rejecting how they felt. And not really admitting it to themselves. But now they can't do that any longer. All right, let's see. Awakening. There you go. Both people in this connection are undergoing spiritual transformation. So they're definitely awake. They are awake. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Decision. It's time to decide about this relationship. Exactly. And they know that. Uh, I don't know. Really think it's a second chance. I don't think it's anything like that. I think it's just them uh, finally just admitting it to themselves, to you, and then jumping in here. Because the big change is right here with the tower energy and that's usually like right now tower is usually like something happening right now and that's aries energy too wow all right taurus well that's what i have for you so i hope that helped that resonate again everything you need to know is down below i am wishing you the best happy birthday and i hope to see you next time